Dear fellow South Africans, do you know you are paying to promote Islam, throughout Africa, to the amount of, 3.2 billion US dollars. That's enough to buy 162 in candles for Jacob Zuma. According to the, Global, Islamic Economic Gateway, South Africa, is Sub-Saharan Africa's, halal powerhouse, with its halal business, valued at 3.22 billion US dollars. Despite Muslims being a minority, South Africa, has the region's most developed halal ecosystem, halal products, are widely available in the domestic market, and the country is a springboard, for entering the rest of Africa. Question, why does the Global Islamic Economic Gateway, describe South Africa as the, most developed halal ecosystem? It's because 80 to 90 percent of South African food is halal certified. 80 to 90 percent. It was not like that just 10 years ago. Another question. What is the South African Muslim population? According to Wikipedia, 1.9 percent. How does 1.9 percent of the population make 90 percent of food items halal? This leads to another question. 1.9% population is just over a million Muslims. How do 1 million Muslims generate 3.2 billion US dollars in South Africa alone? It seems the other 98% of South Africans are paying for it, whether we like it or not. Again, 3.2 billion US dollars could buy 162 and can't less. But, how do we pay for it? Halal certification costs. Businesses have to use halal suppliers, halal packaging, halal transportation, and pay for halal inspections. All these costs are passed on to you and me, the consumers. And it's not a small amount. It's 3.2 billion US dollars. That's about 40 billion rand. And we don't even need it. Hardly anything was halal, 10 years ago. And where does the 3.2 billion US dollars of halal money go? Building mosques? Muslim schools? Somewhere else? Who knows? No one wants to be transparent here. But, one thing we can be sure of, it's used to spread Islam. It isn't wrong for Muslims to want to spread Islam. But, I, a non-Muslim, should not be forced to support it. So, is this video Islamophobic? Not at all. It's being fair. Here's why. If South Africa was a Muslim nation, with 90% Muslims, and 5% Buddhists, and the Buddhists wanted to put dietary requirements on 80% of food items, would the Muslims accept this? Never. This video is, therefore, not Islamophobic. It's being fair to all religious groups. South Africa's constitution does not allow one religion to dominate over others. By making 80 to 90 percent of food items halal, 98 percent of South Africans are forced to support Islam, whether we like it or not. To add insult to injury, Easter often features halal Easter eggs and hot cross buns. I encourage you. Look in your cupboards now. Most everything is halal. Halal, Easter eggs. Do you think Muslims would ever accept that in Muslim countries? Never. So, why are they doing this to us? I believe in freedom of religion. Muslims are perfectly welcome to have halal foods, but they can pay for it themselves. To each his own. That's fair. So, what can you do? Contact your community leaders. Contact your members of parliament. Ask why they are allowing halal products to dominate the market. It isn't legal. It isn't right. Ask what they're doing about it. South Africa is for all of us.